Okay guys, while I got my crock pot going with my creamy chicken stuffing, I guess is what you call it, on the inside, I'm going to be washing some dishes and cleaning the house a little bit. You see all my Grove and Grove collaborative items. I'm so proud of myself. Um, I got this new Method dish soap today in the scent cucumber which is amazing so i'm gonna be washing my dishes with it just to see how it works one how it smells two and i just hope it smells my whole kitchen up before the chicken gets there all right guys so here we go you're up here hi fajitas last night and let me just tell you they were amazing I used the new Taco Bell fajita mix I should have vlogged it they were the best fajitas I think I've ever cooked got my Grove walnut scrubber and then my Grove well method cucumber dish soap well, that shoots really far. Oh my God, y'all, it smells so good. I just wish it, that we had like smell-o-vision where I could just like show y'all, put the product up to the, the camera and then y'all just smell how good this cucumber is like. I'm so in love with it. This will make me want to wash dishes all day, every day. That's how good it smells, y'all. And you see, I barely, all I had to do really was wipe it and look how clean it comes. So, Mrs. Myers, I love your basil dish soap. Do not get me wrong, but my heart is going to have to go with the Method Cucumber for sure. Oh my God, I love it so much. I just, I really do wish that y'all could just smell this. Oh my goodness. It is amazing. And it's a rainy day outside today here, y'all. It's super gloomy outside. The lighting might be kind of bad because of it. Um, it's been raining all morning, all during lunchtime, because it's about 2 o'clock now. It's been raining for a long time. And it's so gloomy outside. I love sunshiny days, not gloomy days. But I guess we, we'll take the rain. We'll take what we can get. Because, you know, what I always, what my mama always told me is rain makes things grow. So, hey, I'll take the rain. I'm just... <sighs> Y'all, if you don't buy nothing from there, buy this cucumber dish soap. It's amazing. Look how good it lathers. This is my pancake frying pan, y'all. Pancakes and hamburgers. When I cook, like, patty up hamburgers and cook them, this is what I use. It's definitely got a lot of love. <laughs> We've been using it ever since we, me and my husband got married. We got this, we got a set and this come in it. And it's definitely had a lot of love in it, y'all. These are, I believe I got these cups from Dollar Tree. They're really good cups, though. You know, like the um, pink bowls that I hauled not too long ago, and I use them. But they're not really good bowls. Like, they are super flimsy, y'all. But these cups, they're, they're good quality. They're not flimsy. Not like them bowls are. Anyway, see? They're pretty good quality. This is my little Dollar Tree strainer because it's so much easier to use this. You don't have a whole big strainer bowl to wash. So I just use this little guy. It works great. 
this soap smells so good. I definitely don't need any more. As y'all can see, it's lathered really well, but I just want to squirt a little more on there. This it smells so good. Uh-oh. I'm dripping. Oh my God, y'all. I know y'all are probably sick of me saying how good this smells, but it deserves every rave, every good review. Oh. I am definitely weak when it comes to cucumber melon. So let's just hope they don't get everything in that flavor because then I'm gonna go broke buying every single Grove product that is in the cucumber flavor. Or scent, not flavor. Flavor you eat, scent is you smell. Oops. But I love it. I wish they had a, like a spray, a multi-surface spray that smelled like that. Grove, get a multi-surface spray that smells like cucumber. It smells so good. I'm gonna be doing some other cleaning today too, y'all. Just think it's a good day to clean when it's rainy outside. I'm here all by myself. The hubby's back at work. He had some well, he, he, he ain't officially back to a nine to five yet. Um, he's had two interviews and God is so good. He has blessed us with giving him a choice of which company he wants to work for. So he's still trying to decide which company is going to be best for him, but he does side work on the side too. And so today he had a little side, some side calls he had to go do. So all by myself other than miss pebbles but you know she's totally making a mess behind me the more that i clean the more that she messes up it's like she is just not having no clean house i do my floors and my carpet and then i walk through 30 minutes later and she's done got a halt to something and just completely tore it to shreds or i have this handmade um coffee table it's handmade out of wood and she's really gonna get in trouble about this handmade coffee table, y'all. It was really expensive. And she has been trying to tear the legs up on it. There's little chips of wood that is always around it and she, mm, she's gonna get in trouble for it. If she don't stop, I'm gonna give her a few chances, but she's gonna have to stop it. If she don't, she's gonna either go in timeout, get a whooping, something. She usually pretty good about if I say whooping it's like she knows exactly what I'm talking about and she'll stop what she's doing but when nobody's around watching her she goes back to it and this is my last dish guys sorry if this has been super boring I'm gonna clean my sink up after I rinse this off I love to feel plastic and feel that it's just not greasy at all. This soap, definitely an A plus, y'all. Like, really bad. Y'all hear that? You hear how clean that is? Love it. Okay. Now I'm going to clean my sink. Okay, let me rinse my sponge. This one is my dish sponge. And then I have some of these left over from before I got them. So this is the one that I clean my dish, my sink with. So I'm just gonna take some of the Method Purpose Anti-Back. We've used it before, no big deal. Just spray my sink down with it real well. And clean it up.
Now we're gonna rinse it off and then I will show y'all what it looks like when I'm done. All right guys, so clean, looks great. <clears throat> I always let my dishes air dry. I just don't like the way a towel goes on them. Uh -oh. The towel goes on them when you hand dry them. So I always let mine air dry and I put them up before I go to bed at night. All right, these are the cabinets that I washed down with the method um, cleaning stuff for wood. This is the method wood for good polish. So they're clean, they're just not shiny. So we're gonna see, uh oh, it's still closed. I'm gonna spray it right quick, do a quick review on it. If I can get it open and just see if it makes it shiny. So we'll just grab this. Oh, I love that almond. It gets me every time. <laughs> need some new knobs. I'm like the Moss family. I need new knobs. Okay. So it's looking better. If it just stays like that, it will definitely give a thumbs up. You see how plain Jane that one is? And that's a scuff mark. It's clean. It's just a scuff mark. This one's nice and shiny. That one's plain Jane. So, we'll come back in a few minutes once it dries and see if it still looks like that. Alright guys, so it's been about five minutes. <clears throat> it is definitely way shinier. I love it. It makes them look so much better. I went on and did them. Do y'all see how shiny it is now compared to what it looked like a while ago? Like, you go Grove. Alright guys, it is pouring. Who remembers the song? It's raining, it's pouring, the old man is snoring. He went to bed and bumped his head, couldn't get up in the morning. All right, guys, so when my husband cleaned out his work truck after he quit working for his daddy, this is what happened to my kitchen table. He brought all his work stuff in and just threw it all in the kitchen. I'm so tired of it, it is driving me nuts, so today I'm gonna clean it. I know somebody had asked one time about, I believe it was Miss Karen, she asked about my um, co-op stockpile. I definitely need to organize it, trust me, I know, I'm gonna get to it, just not been able to get to it yet. So, this is my co-op stockpile, if you do not see, I got so many boxes of chips. This box is slapped full of um, Cheetos. We just got all kind of chips thrown up here in bags. These were from last week. Some in that box, a lot in that box. We got breads up here, bread, bread, bread. These rice cake things, uh, these caramel cake things, apple cinnamon, chewy bars, crackers. This is just like junk snacks snack slash junk food and bread i'm gonna get to cleaning it i promise but this is part of my stockpile and then we have two boxes of gatorades we got some powerades back there i got some propel water back there i got two cases of um y'all excuse my dusty it's back there i gotta get back there and dust it mountain dew spiked lemonade and then that's like the mountain dew spiked raspberry lemonade then we have one, two, three, four cases of water we ain't went through yet. That toilet paper come from there. That's my mop. <laughs> um, whole bunch of snack cakes, y'all. All these snack cakes usually come from there. Um, we actually just got the spin wheels. We have a family member that works in Little Debbie, and so they're always giving us snack cakes anyways. But I just wanted to show you a quick review on my stockpile, and I'm fixing to clean my kitchen table, and then I will show y'all what it looks like when I'm done. All right, Miss Karen. Yes, I I'm 99. Point percent sure I told you I would do the stockpile video so this is just a little something else that I forgot to show y'all while ago look at Miss Pebbles y'all she oh now she wants to run she's all up on me and then now she wants to run come here come here pretty girl come here come here okay she's running so all these are just like full wrappers I just want to show y'all, it's so messy. This is nothing but a barbecue sauce, ranch dressing, Thousand Island, honey chipotle, um, honey mustard, all just nothing. It, and this cabinet goes pretty far back. It was all nice and neat, but here lately we've been keeping a few extra things, so i just gotten them thrown on top of the nice and neat ones. Do y'all hear pebbles? <laughs> and then there's a whole box back there slapped full of nothing but barbecue sauce. And there's a big gallon, if you see that big white lid right here it's a big gallon of barbecue sauce so i don't know what i'm gonna do with all this but we got it 
And then here's a stockpile. I, th this didn't come. I, I love my Bulls hot sauce, y'all. I bought this. <laughs> um, and then uh, just a few craft things I have up here. But behind it is all Quaker. I want to say it's oatmeal. Let me see. No, it's grits. Oops. It's a variety of grits. But all these boxes back here are grits and crackers and oyster crackers and more barbecue sauce and some tea and more crackers and just buffalo sauce and just really stockpiled on it, y'all. And then all this is co-op. It's just seasonings. We have so many goldfish crackers, y'all. They're coming out of my ears. I got them stuffed in every cabinet. There's about four packs in this cabinet. But spaghetti noodles, hot chocolate, all of this is co-op. Some more crackers, like the Ritz crackers. These are um, strawberry fruit bars. Noodles, noodles, noodles. All this is co-op. And there's some seasonings back there that come from co-op. Okay, guys, I am done cleaning my table. Does that not look better or what? And let me just explain to you real quick. I know they're dead. They say happy Valentine's Day. This is the very first Valentine's Day me and my husband was together. He got me these roses, a humongous teddy bear, and also a um, big old thing of chocolates. So other than the teddy bear, I did keep the roses. I think dead flowers are pretty. I think they have a lot of character in them. So I always, I always, always, always keep that and have it setting up somewhere. I absolutely love it. These are my Dollar Tree mats. I'm super excited. I'm finally able to put them on my table, y'all. I knew I only needed three because I knew my back was going to be full of stuff. It's like that. Ever since I was a kid, my mama did her table like that, and I'll always do my table like that. Then I just wanted to show y'all the other decor. Excuse my mess up there. You got the mitt, the oven mitt. The um, I got two of the hand towels and the pot holders, so it's all matchy-matchy. Yay!